With the success of Technicolor's three-strip color process, Walt felt it was time for Mickey to be updated as well. But he knew that by doing so, he would have to raise the bar. Sometime after the release of Flowers and Trees, Walt brought in Clarence Nash to voice a silly symphony character in The Wise Little Hen. The story goes that Walt heard Nash recite Mary Had a Little Lamb in a duck voice on his radio show. Walt loved the voice so much that he made a brand new character for Nash to portray, named Donald Duck. Most silly symphony characters were one-shot ideas, but the animators loved the character so much they brought him back for Mickey's orphan's benefit. Donald fit the role perfectly as the source of conflict, which gave Walt the ability to showcase Mickey in a brand new light for his color debut, the band concert. The plot has Mickey conducting an outdoor concert. As he starts Giacano's Rossini's William Tell Overture, he struggles to continue facing several distractions, most notably by Donald Duck. The success of the band concert would lead to Mickey developing an everyman persona. The short was finally released to the public on February 23, 1935. It even gained international acclaim by winning the Venice Film Golden Medal for Best Animation. Famous Italian conductor Arturo Toscanini saw it in theater six times and invited Walt to his own home in Italy. Despite the recognition, the short was surprisingly not nominated for an Academy Award. Speaking of which, the band concert was technically not the first time Mickey appeared in color. In 1932, the Academy Awards banquet showcased a short titled Parade of the Award Nominees. It was never meant to be shown to the public. It was simply used to showcase the nominees in a caricature format, done by Joe Grant. The band concert would be the start of a downward trend for the use of several characters, such as Horace Horsecollar and Clara Cowbell. In fact, it was Peter Pig's last appearance until Who Framed Roger Rabbit was released in 1988. Despite the wide appeal of Mickey Mouse, one thing was certain, Donald Duck was becoming a star. Film critic and Disney historian Leonard Maltin pointed out, As a vehicle for Mickey, the film was ideal. But once again, it was Donald who stole the show. From that film on, he was a regular character in the Disney organization. Maltin also brought up that the 1942 Mickey Mouse Symphony Hour was somewhat of a remake of the band concert. Walt might have left a clue that Donald would eventually be taking over as the main character when he had Donald in the band concert play the same song that Mickey Mouse played in Steamboat Willie, Turkey in the Straw. Years later, the short would be ranked number three on the top 50 greatest cartoons, making it the highest ranked Disney short in the top five. Fans have cited this as the greatest Disney animated short of all time, and I couldn't agree more. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time where we cover several of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy's funniest adventures.